Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. Wow, it is your season. So happy birthday to all you beautiful Aries who are having a birthday coming up soon. This reading is for April the 1st through to the 15th. So very much in the middle of your season and we'll see what comes out. We have Cup Princess Water Palace has come out. And there's a lot of water around here at the moment. It's raining a lot here in this part of Australia on the east coast so i just need to say aries that this is a general reading just take what feels right and leave the rest and if you want to find out more and delve into it more deeply there will be an extended reading so the link will be in the description box below we'll talk about that more a bit later but for now we have pentacle prince virgo chariot coming in interesting we've got the prince and the princess coming through hmm. and we also have the Eight of Cups, Wand Eight, Jupiter Sagittarius, Cup Eight, Neptune Pisces. Interesting, two eights and two and the Prince and the Princess. As there's a real uh, balance coming in here, and I feel like it's like. Uh, Seeing two people, it's like a relationship that's that's coming up here. So whether it's like a relationship or siblings even, because I'm getting siblings quite strongly, uh, but it's like you're on two very different paths, but at the same time you're inherently, intrinsically connected. And one of you, and these can be two different sides of you, this can be the feminine and the masculine ver um, energies within you, but I do feel like there's something that is about to step into the next level. Something is about to mature. And it's like you're overcoming something in terms of success, of moving to the next, the next uh, challenge and moving on and taking that on. And with that, it's like you're moving forward super fast, positively like, boom, I'm off, I'm going, and I'm leaving something behind as well, something that is no longer working for me, something that just doesn't even feel like me at all, it doesn't fit with me, it just feels foreign to me, and I don't understand it, and I'm going this way instead. And so I'm going to work and develop on this energy, which has got a lot to do with work, health, body. So it's got a lot to do with that, even money and just leaving that behind. Like I just don't have time for that anymore is the energy. But then there's this other energy. So that could be one person or it could just be an aspect of you. And then there's this other en energy, the cut princess, which is more of a vulnerable, innocent energy that comes out and says, Again, there's a maturing on an emotional level, on a heart level of w what is right for me, what is out there for me that is going to fulfill me and what is, you know, looking for love even for some of you or just fulfillment. And it's kind of interesting that th that, um, that other side has, has said goodbye to fulfillment uh, to something that wasn't fulfilling. And so interestingly, I feel it's a very different energy with the feminine, um, with this energy, the cut princess of it's very much a sense of coming home and really understanding self and expansion of self. There's joy in this and understanding who you truly are and stepping into that and owning that. So there is this sense of I've been looking externally for something and I'm actually finding it within myself. I'm coming back to realizing that the answer lies in me. So that's another awesome energy. So it's like it is like just a maturity that's occurring and this can be people around you like these can be children these can be friends this could be you so i'm going to put the empress up actually she's coming in reversed i'm going to leave her like that that felt right i just wanted to turn her up but 
So it's like looking at areas of your life where there hasn't felt like there's been growth and now those areas are the areas that are being kind of worked on to bring that growth in, to bring that abundance through. And it just meant there's something like the, the Ten of Swords, something had to end, something has had to end. And so that sense of walking away from something that wasn't fulfilling you, uh, and this can also be the Ten of Swords can sometimes be exhaustion it can be related to health it can be needing it can be just needing a period of recovery as well to get the energy to step into expansion expansion of self expansion of what you're wanting to bring in here so yeah the strength cards come in there's a lot of uh the need for strength and this is the maiden meets actually interesting this is the maiden virgo meets leo it's the maiden finding her inner strength and the cup princess is like the maiden as well so it's like there's a vulnerability a part of you that is now growing and gaining uh becoming stronger like that cup princess it's an energy of turning into a queen um so really a fierce queen turning into from the innocent princess into the fierce queen. That's kind of the transition that's happening with this strength card coming in. And she's like, so it's like on an emotional level, you are kind of getting, oh, this sort of fierceness is coming through here. Now Aries where it's like, I'm, I'm growing in strength and my emotional body in within my emotions and it could be emotions are, are growing stronger and stronger for something or someone as well that's coming through here which is interesting so there's a fierceness that's coming in and look there's celebration at the base because it's like finally this part of me is kind of getting that boost that it's needed or this part of my life. And so there's celebration around, around this princess turning into the queen. Uh, there's a transition. There's a big transition happening. And it can be from, it's like from different stages of life. Um, but it is a sense of, yes, something is maturing and now having the opportunity to grow, which is fantastic. So there's celebration around that. And for it, that can come up in so many different ways. I mean, this could be someone getting engaged and getting married. Um, that's what that could be as well. It could be someone coming of age. It could be something coming of age, something that someone that you love or something that you love. So there is a, a kind of a coming of age energy, but not only that, it's like rising in this amazing strength. So in the recent past, we have the Page of Swords and that is kind of waiting another page, you know, another prince really or princess. And it's very much formulating new ideas. It's also receiving news for some of you, news that is kind of, kind of been a catalyst for this change or for this growth for this sense of right now I'm going to overcome this and really let something bloom and blossom and transform in my life and transition. So the Page of Swords can be just learning a lot, getting a lot of information coming to you, uh, formulating new ideas. It can just kind of feel a bit excited about an idea as well. A bit of excitement coming in about uh, something that you're kind of planning or wanting to bring in. So it's interesting that we've got all these these um, pages and princesses and princes because it's like you're about to move into the third stage of development. So in the near future, we have the five of pentacles, which is kind of interesting. I'm going to pull some more cards and that can be saying goodbye to a form of income. Wow. You've come in as the tower you just like I'm blasting things out of the water that don't work for me anymore and I'm, I'm making some really positive changes here. And the Five of Pentacles can be wanting to walk away from a job or a form of income, an old form of making money, 
an old form of security for whatever reason or a place where you didn't feel valued. So I feel like you, again, walking away from something that wasn't providing fulfilment there. Um, so that's kind of coming in, but does feel like it's very much connected to that pentacle prince overcoming something to do with money and career as well. So, yeah, and the energy surrounding you is the lover's card. So there is a big choice here, a big choice. There's a lot of, well, you do have the power of choice, but the lover's card can also be that there is love here. The cup princess comes out of her it's kind of um, similar energy to Leo reading, actually, if you've got any Leo in your chart. It was a bit like um, a, the energy of the princess coming out and making her debut in society, like something is about to debut, and then looking around and seeing what the options are and who are the suitors. And it, this can be, you know, quite literally in terms of love, the lover's card has come in. So there is a, a soulmate energy there coming through 100%. But there's, it can also be that uh, what is it that now that I've debuted and come out into the world and I'm kind of looking at emotionally what's fulfilling me, I'm like, what is it and what's out there? And there is something there for you there with the lover's card. There's something very strongly connected that is going to take perhaps be a very obvious choice or take your fancy. So it is like... There is a lot out there for you once you step out. Something is kind of blooming and blossoming and making its debut. So there might be a lot of love for whatever it is that you're putting out there or love waiting for you. So let's see what else is coming through. But either way, there's what I'm getting is that there's a significant, between this card and that card, there's a significant soul connection. So you'll be really drawn to something. There's something there for you, like a synchronistic relationship or an attraction to a certain, it doesn't have to be a person. It can be a career, a hobby, a place. It can be anything. So there's a sense that that cut princess is, is stepping out in the world and being very drawn to something because there's something so potently magnetic there for her for this energy anyway so but it's good it's meant to be for it's it's a where your soul is guiding you the sun yeah you're wanting happiness breakthroughs opportunities a hundred percent and then we have the knight of swords so things start moving quickly things start moving quickly and you're just like okay all stations go i'm going into battle I know what it is that I want to overcome here. I know what it is that I want to bring with me and I'm ready to go. So donning the armor and making sure that that's why that cut princess, that vulnerability, your heart had to kind of grow in strength and, and become stronger in a way because so that it could come into battle uh, and go and fight for something that really, really you wanted, make those changes that are coming through that are really going to slay this, the five of five of pentacles energy. And this can be lack. This can be debt. This can be not having enough money, not being paid enough. It can be abandonment, rejection. It can be all of those issues. And it can be an old form of income, like I said. So it's just like it's going to off to slay the beast, whatever that is that you're wanting to like take on. So this is like preparing for battle, really. Um, and so it's kind of like these guys are getting their their training, um, learning what they need to be strong, and in they go. And it's kind of interesting because we have the hanged man. So uh, there is a sense that um, really needing to see things. Oh, the stars at the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. So this is, you know, wishes coming true, replenishment, being very divinely guided. And that's what feels like it's coming through here, that there will be like uh, this sense of suddenly almost a moment of enlightenment of the direction that you're going in and how to get there and you're just going to want to go so fast. As soon as you work that out, it's like, boom, I'm off. I'm off and racing. Catch me if you can. No one else will be able to. So interesting. So I think it's, you know, really, really positive really positive, but there does need to be an, a really deep understanding of where it is that you're going and why, seeing things from a different perspective. 
and it may be needing to kind of surrender or sacrifice something in order to move forward and understanding what that is, letting go of something like that eight, that eight of cups that we saw. So it says, I accept my uniqueness. There is no competition and no comparison for we are all different and meant to be that way. I am special and wonderful. I love myself. So that sounds like it's very much directed at that cup princess. I'm going to pull and, you know, self-love could be the growing in strength. That could be the energy of that as well. But I feel like ultimately what you're fighting for is an expansion of your world, an expansion of love, an expansion of the resources that you have, material security, expansion of like you're wanting to bring in abundance pretty much. You're fighting to get that empress. And so it's kind of like, you know, it's all this showing me all this kind of medieval stuff of battle with the prince, the princess and the queen. And it's like the empress has been held captive and these guys are now, it's their moment in time, they're the only ones left in the kingdom and they have to rise into their destiny and rise in power and learn all their lessons in order to save the empress and from the kingdom going to doom. It's all that kind of mythical stuff and the empress representing your abundance. And so it's like you're drawing on these other resources that need to get stronger in order to bring that in. So that's kind of um, that's kind of what it is. So, yeah, and going in and fighting for something that you really truly want. So... Let's see. I'm just pulling animal spirit energy for you, Aries. So feeling really determined, really focused, really, but it's like you really need to know what it is that you're going after here and why. And I think you do know that, but there is a sense that there's that it's there's more to know. There's a, a layer of enlightenment around this or revelation that is coming through as well. So animal spirit energy for Aries. But there's a lot of energy, like, poof. okay, so we have the nightingale, beautiful. And what I'm loving is that there's just this, um, because it's got like the masculine and the feminine, the masculine can be very much like boom, and but the cut princess is coming in in her own very strong way and the nightingale does have this beautiful voice, this expression, and it's that thing of accepting my own uniqueness, expressing that and letting the world hear it. And so that can also be part of this empress energy that there's some abilities or uniqueness that's particular to you that for whatever reason has not been put out there or developed and is it's now being developed and debuted to the world. So the nightingale sings this beautiful song of love as well and puts that beautiful song out there and waits for the call to return. And there is the strength in this intuitive connection here that's coming in between what it is that you're putting out there and what it is that's coming in that connecting to you. And because it's on this beautiful frequency, it's bringing this beautiful thing to you. There is something coming. So that's actually very lovely and beautiful and very poetic and creative. There's a, there's a lot of creativity coming through with this as well, Aries, for some of you. And romantic, that nightingale is romantic, but it's about using your voice as well, using your voice. And it's it's the beauty of expression, um, I want to say. So you've all got your own unique way of doing that and it's it's kind of poetic. It's not necessarily forceful, but it, it's very strong in its authenticity that's that's what's coming through. So this might be something you need to be communicating or saying to someone as part of this. And what is this? Oh, it's Hello Kitty, I think. My goodness. And what does it say? That just doesn't say anything on the back. But, yeah, it's like a little Hello Kitty. <laughs> that is so cute. And it's like this is kind of... It is funny that this reminds me of that cut princess that's sitting right in the centre there of, you know, something like a little girl would really like. Uh, and But it's 
it might present as a little pussycat, but really it's turning into this lion. And so it's actually strongly connected to your inner child as well. I would listen to what your the messages that your inner child has to say with this because your inner child is very, you know, even though it has vulnerability, it also has this great strength and wisdom. It's like the untainted soul and spirit of the inner child coming through. And it's... It's very cute. It's very cute, isn't it? This little pussy cat with the bow in it. And it's kind of like, yeah, I, I just feel like this, it's an interesting combination of this growing up. Um, there's an independence here. Cats always represent independence and it's like the the child or the teenager is turning into the independent adult. And so that's kind of part of the energy coming through. But, yeah, it's cute. There's something very cute here. <laughs> and I, I would just say listen to your inner child. Listen to your inner child. There's something about, like, I, I want to say that see the connection between the cut princess and the lovers, that there is something that you're making, putting something out there, like um, debuting an emotional self or this is who I am and I'm, you know, showing my vulnerability even. And there is a sense that still, even with that strength, you've still got that vulnerable, cute um, innocent side as well it all sits together so it's kind of um yeah very cute it's very um these different layers of experience all coming together and creating this strength so that's what it is so that's it Aries for this reading <laughs> uh, I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now and we're going to get some clarification for this part of the reading uh, and we're going to get some cards for the near future and the future beyond and see what else is coming in, as well as we're going to pull some cards specifically for career, money, love and relationships. And so that is all going to be in the extended reading. The link will be in the description box below for that. If you click on that, I'll just take you over to Vimeo and I usually pin the link to the comments as well. But if this is where we're leaving each other, Aries, I feel like this is such a positive, positive um, gaining of strength, moving into accepting like yourself as a whole, fighting for that abundance that you want and you deserve and just using, you know, accepting your uniqueness and letting go of something that hasn't been fulfilling to you and really coming back to yourself. There's this divine co connection or a very strong divinely guided path that's opening up for you. It could be quite synchronistic. And, yeah, it's um, really, really powerful. So going in and fighting for what it is that you want. So thank you so much for joining me, Aries. If you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe and leave a comment or share if you think this will help somebody. And please take care. Look after that beautiful spirit of yours and enjoy. Happy birthday. Bye.